Hello everyone, we will continue the topic log objects and in the previous videos, we start writing the logic in the program. We called the NQ function module. If psi sub RC is other than zero, we are giving error message. If psi sub RC is zero, we are updating the payment mode in the order header table for that particular order number. Now we will continue the topic and same perception we will take those who know programming. Anyways, there is no difficulty for them. Those who don't know programming as of now, at least they can do the practical. Generally, whenever we conduct training, we will always cover this topic after the function module topic. So there's no difficulty at that point of time. But here, how you can go for the approach? Ultimately, it is your wish how you want to go. First approach, those who know programming, there's no difficulty for them. They can cover each and everything in continuation. Second thing, those who don't know programming as of now, what they can do? They can simply, simply learn up to that level how to activate a lock object. Because at that point of time, no coding knowledge required. Then you can learn the ABAP programming from the future playlist. I'll say next playlist is all about ABAP programming only. Then you can learn the remaining part, how to call a lock object, how to call the function modules of the law object in the program. Ultimately, it is totally you, your wish. Third wish, anyways, I am going for each and every step and explaining in such a way, at least you can do the practical for the same. So it is totally your wish how you want to go. Suppose previously we covered the topic buffering. Yes, you can understand the concept very, very well. But whenever you want to see the buffer contents, you need to run the program. So at that point of time, you require programming knowledge. If you have, there is no issue. If you do not have, learn up to that level that no programming required. Then learn the programming and then do the remaining part of the buffering. It is totally your wish how you want to proceed. Now, now, if update is successful, suppose we are, suppose we are able to update the payment mode in the table, then in that case, size of RC will be what? Size of RC will be zero. In the previous video, we covered size of RC is a system variable. If it is zero, it means the operation is successful. If update is successful, size sub RC will be zero. And we give a message that, yes, the order number updated successfully. Now, whenever you want to display the output in case of SAP ABAP, we will always display through write statement, write, write. Suppose you know very well, in C, yes, we have printf, scanf. In C++, we have C in C out. In Java, we have system.out.println. In case of SAP, whenever you want to print the output on the output screen, we will always go for write. So I will simply write, suppose I'm writing write text hyphen zero 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 and else part i will write text hyphen zero zero one now the question comes what is this text hyphen zero 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 and what is this text hyphen zero zero one they are the text symbols text symbols whenever we want to give that text whenever we want to print that text Always, always we will make use of text symbols, text symbol 
and this is already covered as a part of a map programming. Now we will create these text symbols. I will double click on to this. I will go for yes. It is asking, do you want to create the text symbol? Yes. So what 000 stands for? I will simply write order number updated successfully. I will simply activate. Now I will go for 001. 001 is for one is for what? Order number not updated successfully. If we are unable to update, yes, we should give a message. Okay. I'll just copy and I will just put the word no. I'll firstly increase the length. Suppose I will put 70 because it is a big message. Order number not updated successfully. Okay, I will activate. Now I will go to back button and now I will activate the program. If update is successful, I will get a message that order number updated successfully. If update is not successful, I will get a message order number not updated successfully. Now, firstly, we logged the order. Suppose I gave order number one. We logged the order number. Yes, whenever we logged, so it should not be the case you logged, logged, logged. Okay, you should unlock also. Suppose after update, once your task is done, you should unlock also, unlock also. So how you will unlock? You will simply, simply call which function module? DQ function module. You all know whenever you want to unlock, it should be unlocked through DQ function module. And unlocking is compulsory. It should not be the case. Just think. Suppose... I have a program with the help of that program. Suppose that program every day is taking two hours to update the various order number. If you will log, it means what will happen for those two hours, others cannot do anything. So once you update one order, unlock. Once you update second order, unlock. Once you update third order, unlock so that others can also use those order numbers. So always, always, whenever you are locking, never, never forget to unlock. As of now, in our requirement, it's single order number. But in real projects, we have so many order numbers. So to always remember, always update, then unlock. Update, unlock. If you are locking, unlock also. I will go to pattern. And now I will call which function module? I will call DQ function module. Now I will simply, simply uncomment. You all know how to uncomment. Control plus dot. Now, firstly, we log the order number. And order number is coming from where screen. Now, same way, we will unlock the same to same order number. Now we will go to just syntax check and activation. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we studied that, yes, if update is successful, we are giving a success information. We are giving a success information on the, or you can say success text 
on the output screen. If the update is not successful, we are giving a unsuccessful text. And how we gave that text? We gave that text through text symbols and we created the text symbol 000 and 001. And after that, we called the DQ function module for the unlocking purpose. In the next video, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode, how this all locking and unlocking will work. So that's it in this video. Thank you.